Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never watched any of my videos before, hello, I'm Lindsay. Welcome. Okay, I am so, so excited for this video. You can tell by the title, you have kind of an idea of what it's going to be, but I'm just gonna give you a quick background story to how this came up. So, I was in the Target home decor section, like I am almost every day, and I'm really digging the tribal prints that they have um, going on right now. I really like it. So I was looking through all their stuff, and I was looking at their throw pillows thinking, these are so cute, but I don't want to pay $20 for a throw pillow. And I thought, well, maybe I can just make my own. But I know my fabric store doesn't have that type of fabric, just like those prints. And I don't know, I just knew I wouldn't be able to find fabric like that, at least at my local fabric store. So I thought to myself, where can I find a lot of fabric that I can make my own throw pillow pillowcases out of? Um, that's kind of that tribal print that I liked. And so I walked down the shower curtain aisle there it was, the cutest print. I have this pillow, this is from Target that I bought, and um, it's just really cute, kind of that tribal. This is the shower curtain. The patterns are like very, very similar. Polka dots and stripes with polka dots, like this, this part right here on the pillow, right on this side, looks very, very similar to the shower curtain. So I'm so excited because I've kind of matched. And this alone was less than buying one pillow. Um, and so I know that I'm gonna be able to make more than one pillow with just this. I think I'm just gonna make one pillow though because I just want one. Um, but then I thought I'm gonna have a lot of extra fabric and I can do other DIYs out of it. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you we're gonna see how many DIY projects I can make out of one really cute shower curtain. I'm so excited. Okay, so to start making my pillow, I folded all the fabric in half, and I'm just going to place my pillow insert on top of the fabric and cut out around it, um, leaving some seam allowance on the edges. Okay, for the pillow, we're just going to put right sides of our fabric together, and then we're just going to sew up the open sides except for one. We're gonna leave one side open so that we can flip it inside out and that we can put our pillow um, into our insert, and then we'll just hand sew the open side. Okay, so three sides of our pillowcase are closed together. So now we're just going to flip it the right side and pull out our corners. Okay, then we're going to put the pillow in the pillowcase. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Yay, it looks so cute. So now on the open edge, I'm just going to fold it over and then I'm just going to hand stitch it closed. Okay, next I thought it would be fun to make some coasters out of this cute fabric. So I'm just taking a piece of square cork board and I am just tracing circles using a
this fabric would make a really cute bandana or like a neck scarf. So I'm just taking one that I already have and tracing it out to the square. Okay, so we have our square for our bandana or neck scarf, whatever we want to use it for. The only thing I want to do is I just want to hem the edges of this. Um, just a little bit just so that they're clean. So that's what I'm gonna do really fast. So I'm just gonna fold down um, The edges just a tiny bit and just sew all the way around the square um, and then we'll be done. So nothing hard with sewing, but um, I just wanted to make the edges a little more crisp Okay, yay, this is gonna be so cute back we're just going to fold our fabric in half um, right sides together and then um, on each side at the top where it opens I'm going to fold it down just a little bit um, on both sides enough to fit um, string in the drawstring um, so we're going to make a little opening so you need to fold down the top just a little bit um, on both sides and make sure that they match and then you're just going to sew up the two sides and then flip it out and then we'll add the string in. So I'm just going to fold this down probably like about an inch. It depends on how thick your string is but I'm just going to do um, about an inch maybe a little less and sew that. I fold down the other side the same um, thickness as I did the first, so about an inch again. Okay, now right sides together still. Now I'm just going to sew up my two sides, um, but make sure you don't sew the little openings. Um, so just sew up until here and then stop on both sides. Yay, and then just flip it the right way and pull your corners and they turn out so cute and they're seriously so easy to make um, and then all we'll need to do is put the string in and then we'll be done So when I first came up with this idea, I thought, oh, this is going to be awesome. I'll be able to make more than just one throw pillow. I'll be able to make maybe a couple of other things. Um, I didn't know how many things I'd really be able to make. 
I made, I think, seven things for this video, and I still have this much fabric left. Like, a lot. <laughs> and I honestly just, like, don't know what to do with it. Um, maybe I'll just repeat some of the different things that I made, because I only made one of each. Um, so maybe I'll make another pillow or another hand towel. I don't know. If you have any suggestions on other things you can make with this super cute fabric, let me know because I made seven things and I still have a lot left. Like, this is an awesome DIY, I feel like. Um, shower curtains. They're the way to go. But that is it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.